This video is sponsored by Grammarly. So I just recently graduated from college and for those of you guys who have been following my entire journey so far, I'm sure you guys can agree that those were really some of the best days of my life and I'm really glad that I was able to share the entire journey with you guys. But whatever I shared on social media was only just the highlights and kind of like the perfect picture of college life that I wanted to portray online. And of course, there were many ups and many downs that I didn't put onto the vlogs just because it wasn't attractive. But now that I've graduated, there are certain things here and there that I've learned throughout the entire journey that I wish my younger freshman self would have known. With that being said, here are 7 tips and things I wish I knew as a 21-year-old freshman ready to start my next 4 years at college. Let's go. So the first thing I would tell my younger self is that grades are not everything and please do not let grades define who you are. My freshman year was pretty demoralizing because I didn't really do as well as I expected. My close friends would remember this. I really beat myself up over my grades, my GPA during my first semester of school and I was just really upset and demoralized. So it was only during my second year of college that I realized, okay, there's no point crying over spilled milk. I started to break down my different modules into the different assessment components and started to see which parts needed improvement and that was only when I started to learn new study techniques like active recall, space repetition and yeah basically the main takeaway for tip number one is to just remove emotions from this entire grades game. This one number in my GPA does not define who I am as a person. Really just look at it logically how you can improve your studying techniques, how you can improve your grades but do not tie that to your personal self-worth. Moving on to my second tip for my 21 year old self is focus more on building working experience while you're in uni. You'll find that nowadays it's so much more important to build working experience especially when you go to job interviews and stuff they no longer solely look at your GPA and like how high your cap is but rather how many years of experience do you have in this internship or like can you show me your portfolio one thing that I came to realize is that your degree doesn't necessarily guarantee you a job in school they only teach you like the theory of everything so that is like what makes up your GPA but if you really want to do well in your job you really need solid working experience outside of school a lot of you guys have sent me DMs and comments on how was I able to find my passion in life for me honestly the easiest way for you to find that out is to just start working. You can just try applying for all the part-time jobs that you think you might like or if you're in university doing your summer internships and stuff, just apply for every role that you can find. And even if you find out that okay, you don't really like the job, at least you're able to eliminate that and you're one step closer to figuring out what you want to be doing for the rest of your life. Okay, so let's pause for a moment and talk about the sponsor of today's video, Grammarly, which is a digital writing assistant that you guys have heard me talk about so many times on the vlogs before. This is a bonus tip to my 21 year old freshman self so enjoy this little integration that we did mm, have had <sighs> why is it so hard to write if you're a college student like my friend mink you need to download grammarly grammarly is an all-in-one writing tool that improves your productivity and saves you time when you have multiple assignments to complete nice grammarly is free to download and it's easy to integrate into your daily life as a browser extension through chrome safari firefox etc it works where you work such as google docs to help you save time and work more efficiently for any of your assignments want to succeed in college hit the link in the description and download grammarly right now we'll wait for you Grammarly has a goal setting feature that gives you tailored writing suggestions based on your specified audience. So you can save the time that you normally waste trying to think of ways to try to make yourself sound more professional. Grammarly's free word count feature helps you to save time by helping you meet your paper requirements. Also, if you're someone like me who has a very limited vocabulary, you no longer need to go online to search for new words. Just use Grammarly's free synonym feature to replace your overused words and you're good to go. Most of you already know from my college vlogs, I have already been using this all-in-one tool to do all my college essay submissions, helping me to shave off the final hour or two that I usually waste trying to proofread my essay or trying to cut down words to hit the word limit. As we creep deeper and deeper into the semester, make sure you guys are prepared for college, like Mink. With tools like Grammarly, go to grammarly.com slash tamago to sign up for a free account and if you guys would like extra features, get 20% off Grammarly Premium to save time and work more efficiently. Okay, so the third tip that I would tell to my 21-year-old self is as nerdy as it sounds, realize that studying is 
fun. What? When I was a freshman, I honestly hated studying. I really just wanted to go out and party or hang out with my friends. But the moment I started to realize that learning new things was actually very fun and mind-blowing to me, I started to love the entire process. I think the moment when you become 21 years old and you start to realize that, okay, there are actually a lot of things in this world that you really don't understand and you have yet to discover. And the more that you start learning new concepts and new things about the economy, about engineering, about business, about accounting and everything, it's honestly quite a fun experience. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? And on top of that, I also found a lot of resources outside of college, like on YouTube, you can find Crash Course or like I watch a lot of Khan Academy. The way that these YouTube channels actually frame it is in more of like an entertaining rather than an educational kind of perspective. So when you learn it in the edutainment kind of sense, it's actually more fun to enjoy and the whole process becomes like a game. It's just a really fun experience that I would tell my younger self like, don't fight it, learn to enjoy the entire process of studying. Tip number four is to remove any self-doubting limits that you have subconsciously placed in your own mind. Just stop underestimating yourself. So my professor actually did this one activity where she put a Kahoot poll and she actually asked the class to input what grade do they think they're gonna get for this module at the end of the semester. So my classmate and I, we put A+, plus, even though personally I didn't really think I was able to get an A+, plus, but I just put it anyways because why not set high goals for yourself, right? But what was surprising to me is when she flashed the results on the screen, it was actually in the shape of a bell curve. And what that meant was that some students had actually put that they were expecting to get like a B minus or like a C or some of them even put like they're, they're gonna fail the module. And this is even before the entire semester began. Failing to plan is planning to fail. But if you plan to fail, you are most definitely going to fail. <laughs> so yeah, one tip I would tell for my freshman self is definitely don't start with the mindset that you suck and you're gonna get a B minus. So my friend Donovan, he eventually managed to get an A plus for that module, which is pretty sick. And for me, I didn't get an A plus but I still got an A for the module, which is the same thing, well, honestly. But I guess the moral of the story is shoot for the stars and even if you miss, you will land on the coconut tree. All right, tip number five. That's 10, sorry. Tip number five is one of my personal favorites. Stop worrying about what others think about you because everyone is really too busy worrying about themselves. So if I'm not wrong, this thing is called the spotlight effect. Like spotlight effect you think like the light is shining on you but actually no one really cares about you so the main reason why this is one of my favorite tips is because i am from business school and in business school one of the biggest nightmares is class participation basically what class part is is in class you have to raise your hand to answer questions if not you're gonna fail the module okay i'm just kidding but class part is a really huge component in university as the spotlight effect claims you think that if you say something wrong in class the entire class is gonna look at you and say haha you're an idiot and because you're scared of making that mistake you just rather not talk and and just lose out on the points. So the proper way of going around this problem is by realizing that, okay, yeah, people will notice if you make a mistake and say something wrong, but in actual fact, they are really just too worried about class participating themselves to actually give a damn about whatever you said that was wrong. So I really wanted to share a really good tip over here. There was this one module that my friend Donovan and I, we were in the same class and we really hated this class. Class participation was a huge part of it. And for the entire first half of the semester, Donovan and I, we didn't class part a single time because it just ain't it man, this class. So it was sometime during recess week where I discovered the spotlight effect and I decided to just switch things up a little bit and I actually told Donovan, okay, let's play a little game. For the second half of the semester, we're gonna compete and see who can class part the most times in class and the loser will treat the other party to coffee straight after the class ended. So the funny thing is after I issued this competition, Donovan and I, we eventually managed to top the class for class participation and I found that I actually managed to score pretty high for that module in the end, which is pretty unexpected. So yeah, friendly competition is good, especially if you're struggling with speaking in class and stuff. Moving on to tip number six is that you're gonna find that some people are really built different in college. Some people are gonna be extremely smart. Some people are gonna be extremely good with sports. Some people are gonna be extremely good with coding, with dancing and yeah, you get the point. Sometimes it can get really demoralizing if you just walk around campus and look at everyone and be like, oh, hey, look at that senior. He just converted a 10K per month salary job. And like, hey, look at that guy. Wow, he's so good at public speaking. He just won a case competition and blah, blah, blah. One tip that I have for my freshman self is to realize that really everyone is built different. There are going to be overachievers, but everyone's definition of success is different. And you don't have to force yourself to accomplish this and that just because your peers did it as well. Comparison is the thief of joy. And even if you didn't manage to an internship or a job, it's not the end of the world. You're still alive and healthy. You are still really young and definitely don't tell me you're stupid because thousands of people would die to have your spot in university. So yeah, just trust the process. Success will come. Just, you know, trust God's plan. Okay, so the final tip as you guys saw from the thumbnail of this video is try to find a girlfriend. <laughs> 
girl but seriously so when i first came into university i went in with the mindset that i'm not gonna find a girlfriend i'm gonna live my best college life with the bros just party and waste my life away and then I found my girlfriend B. But yeah, as I was trying to say, it kind of made me realize like, yeah, actually university is one of the best few times of your life to find a partner. It's kind of like the same thing for like chasing your dreams and stuff. The moment you graduate, become a working adult, then everything becomes very work oriented. Like everything is money, money, money. So yeah, I feel like the best time to find a partner is in university, you know, when everyone is just a kid and just... So how exactly do you find a partner? I can't really help much on that. I'm not a relationship guru and stuff. But what I would say is increase your exposure, join events, go and meet people, you know, go and uh, slide into DMs. You can check out my video over here, like how to make friends in college. Try to be more approachable, try to groom yourself well in college. Just increase your surface area for meeting new people and potentially, who knows, you might find the one. One tip of advice that I will give to my 21-year-old self is to realize that being in a relationship takes sacrifice. It's not easy, be it working less, partying less, than you expected and it's really important to have a strong channel of communication because no two humans are built the same way think the same way and yeah that's something that i would tell my 21 year old self don't just go and date someone for like two months and be like hey that person is screwed up now Why you like, that one? like i mentioned earlier everyone is built different it takes time and effort to compromise and get to that okay yeah i'm done i'm done here i don't know what i'm talking about anymore yeah. So one bonus tip I'll leave you guys with is to have a productivity system. Definitely check out this video if you haven't already. This is how I structure my entire weekly productivity system for my entire college life. Even up to this point right now, I'm still using this system. For those of you who want more advice on study tips and how to get better grades, check out my study tips playlist for sure. And right now I'm going to transition you guys back to school. I'm helping my girlfriend shoot her graduation photos with her friends and let's go. <sighs> study vibes. So this is like the usual spot, you know, when you graduate already. You wear your gown, you come here, throw your hat. in the city i was raised on its edges my pop work is life when it's complex i found love in its center if i could live here forever think it'd be for the better i love the weather even though it's fog 24 7 i love the people this is city i met all my best friends and i want to thank every break i want to thank every entrance to every building that i step in in this city of mine oh you most my best moments in life city of We just got done shooting at the U Town Field. I haven't filmed my own graduation shots yet, so can't wait for it with the boys, you know. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <sighs> graduate. Graduate. What do you know?